uh, basically we're just running PEX tubing down to help cure the concrete from underneath uh, with the E1100 system. Um, customer did not want to put the hose on top of the concrete for fear of staining the concrete on the storefront. PEX tubing to lay it out and install it took approximately 45 minutes. How far, how big an area is it? Uh, it's about 1100 square feet. Uh, they want to maintain about a 60 degree temperature throughout the whole pour. Uh, we're running now about 68 to 58, which they're okay with. Uh, we're getting ready to pour a sidewalk so a store can open, and we are dealing with uh, inclement weather. And we've decided to heat up the concrete using a PEX tubing and uh, cover it with some blankets and make sure it doesn't freeze and crack on us. And, and what do you like about it? Oh, I'm liking the fact that uh, it's got a generator as well as it can run on power, electricity, 120 volts. Uh, it's got a green light on the top of the unit so you know that it is actually working without having to go up to it, un unlock the panel and check the gauges. I think that is a very sweet operation. I also like the fact that it has automatic rewind for the hose, so you don't have to worry about uh, winding up a hose and back injuries and strains. It automatically does it by itself. It's got a foot pedal and a brake release. Can't ask for anything simpler than that. Okay, and this is the first time you're trying this uh, PEX tubing system also? Yes, it is. And it, it worked out actually a lot, e lot easier than we anticipated. Uh, we've heated it up to about 170 degrees and it's flexed to one foot increments. Zip tied it to some rebar. We are gonna leave it permanently installed after the concrete cures. We will then be draining the glyco out of the tubing and cutting the tubing flush with the end of the sidewalk and it'll be forever there. So everything good on the temperature yet? Yep, everything's good. We're holding a constant uh, 60 on the tube, so we're still good. She's holding fine. I'm just doing some checks on the temperature of the concrete. Uh, temperature of the concrete underneath the blankets is 58, 59 degrees. Uh, we did a concrete cure for 10 days. Okay. Uh, overall, I think it was a great experience. It was the first time for myself and Lincoln to do this, also with Pepper Construction to do this. Um, I think it worked beautiful. It was a lot easier setup than we thought, maintained the temperatures, and gave them a cured concrete in 10 days, which they wouldn't have been able to do in 10 degree temperatures. We've gone from 30 during the day down to as low as six to eight at night. You know, wind chills down negatives. So below, and we've held a constant temperature um, about 60 degrees all week long. I checked it four different times at different times during the day, and we held 60 degrees for that whole entire week period. What are we, 8 degrees right now, we've got 60 degree uh, temperature underneath in our, in our concrete. It's held all this, held for almost two weeks, it's beautiful. So, very nice, very nice quiet piece of equipment. Yes, uh, we checked the fuel every couple of days and it was actually nice because it's uh, the 50, 60 gallon tank. And uh, really didn't have to sit there and worry about it, especially over the weekends. That was the nice thing. Friday we'd leave, check the fuel, and we knew that we were good all the way until Tuesday. And it worked out nice, not having to worry about coming up here on a Sunday just to make sure we didn't run out of fuel. So that was a good thing. Yeah, it's pretty simple. Just uh, hooked up the hose to a small air compressor, um, hooked it up to both the lines, and just put about 60 pounds of pressure in the tube to blow the glycol out. And just recover what's left in the hoses. So pretty simple. After this, we uh, take the E1100 back, fuel it up, and out to another job to do some ground thaw with it.